Hey guys, for this week's tutorial video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your very own Fortnite Llama. So as you guys all know, Fortnite is a huge game and it's very popular. And one of the things in that game is called the Fortnite Llama, which is very valuable. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build. So because this is the very last model, it is one of the most challenging. So we really encourage you guys to go back to the previous models and build those first since those are a little bit easier. And then you guys can come back to this model and build the Fortnite Llama. Before I teach you guys how to build the Fortnite Llama, we're having a photo shoot challenge. And so you're, you guys are going to take any of the 10 models that you built. It can be one of them, two of them, or all of them. You guys are going to place it in some sort of scenery, take a picture, upload it to Instagram, tag Cardboard Superheroes and Comic-Con Museum. And so we would just really hope that everyone participates in this fun challenge. Now we're going to be building the Fortnite Llama. So the first thing you're going to want to do is print out this template, which is going to be under the Comic-Con Museum at Home website. And it's going to be five pages long. And so before you guys start building, you're going to want to print out this template. Now that you guys have printed out this template, you're going to want to start cutting on all of the solid black lines. So you're going to cut all of those out. But if you guys see any dotted lines, make sure not to cut those out because we're going to be folding those later. And also, as you can see, for example, on like the first page, uh, the tail, because some of the pieces are small, uh, the text as actually isn't inside of the actual piece. And so when you guys are cutting these out, make sure to also cut out the label for it. For example, tail, I would cut the tail out as well, the tail text. So you're just gonna cut everything out. Now that you guys have cut out all your pieces, we're gonna start taping it to our cardboard. When you guys are taping it to your cardboard, make sure to leave a little bit of room in between each piece because you don't want to cut into the template. Now that you guys have taped all of your pieces, it's time to cut them all out. The first part that we're going to be building of the llama is this body piece right here. So this entire body piece, all the back, the side, we're going to be building that first. So you guys are going to grab the body side one and body side two. And you're also gonna grab body back, body front, body top, and body bottom. And so you guys are gonna take the template pieces off of the two body sides right now. And you're also gonna take it off of the body bottom. So you guys are going to take the body bottom and you're just going to attach it to one of the flat edges of this body side piece. So there's a flat edge here and there's also a curved side. You're going to put it on the flat side. So I'm just going to glue it down to one of the flat sides just like that. I'm just going to put it down right there. And once you've glued that, you're going to do the same thing with the other side, gluing this flat edge side right there. Once you've glued that, you're going to take the body top and you're just going to do the same thing and you're going to glue it right on the opposite side right there. Once you've attached those pieces, go ahead and grab body side front and body back. And we're going to be gluing these to this kind of curved side, but since this is curved, we're also going to have to curve this piece. So we're going to take both these pieces line it up to the edge of the table, and then you're just gonna pull down. And it should have that nice curved look on both of them. And then you're just gonna take this, and you're gonna glue this piece right there. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Once you've done that, it should kind of look like this, and the next piece that we're gonna be working on is the neck. Now that you guys have built this, it should start looking kind of like the body of the llama. And so, like I said before, the next piece that we're going to be working on is this neck. So you're just going to grab all the neck pieces, which includes both of the neck side pieces, the neck front, and the neck back. So you're going to take the neck front and one of the neck side pieces. And as you can see from this, the neck is to the very front of his body. 
and based on his body there's no like real front side since both of these both uh, sides are the exact same so you're just gonna put it to any side and so we're gonna first grab the next side piece and as you can see this part is curved more than this side this is more of a gradual curve whereas this is curved more and so the side that's curved more should be the back of the neck so it should be glued on like that. And so I'm just gonna take this and then put some glue on it and then just attach it right there. And then you're gonna grab the other next side piece and then you're gonna attach it just on the other side the same way you did for this next side piece. Now that you're done gluing that, you're gonna grab the neck front piece. And of course the neck front piece is gonna be going on the front of the neck. And as you can see, since this has a bit of a curve, we're gonna be curving this piece. So you're just gonna bring it to the edge of the table and then you're just gonna pull it down. Once you're done with that, it should kind of look like this. And you're just gonna glue it on the front of the neck. And then you're gonna glue it to the other side. Now we're gonna grab the neck back piece and then just like the front, the back is curved, so we're gonna have to curve the back, whoops. And then you're just gonna attach it to the back of the neck. Just like that, it's gonna be curved. And then, yep, you're just gonna end up attaching it to the back of the neck, just like that. Now that you guys have added on the neck, it should end up kind of looking like the llama. And the next pieces that we're gonna add are the leg pieces. We're gonna grab all of the leg pieces and there's four of them. And so you guys can take all of these template pieces off. Now, as you can see, the legs are very curved, like a cylinder shape. So we're just gonna be curving all of the leg pieces just like I taught you guys how to. Now that all of the leg pieces are curved, uh, you're just gonna roll them all up into that little cylinder shape and then you're just gonna put glue in the middle and you're gonna glue all of them together like that. Now that all of the legs are glued together, as you can see one of the sides has a flat side and then one of the sides is kind of angled like that. So if you look this side is flat and this side is angled. The angled side is the one that is going to be attached to the actual llama. And so as you can see from the bottom view, all of the legs are facing out like that. And so you're just gonna have to play around with it. So when you're putting it on, you don't want it in like that. So you're just gonna keep rotating it until the legs are facing out. And then you're just gonna do that for all of them and you're gonna put them on the very corner. Now your llama can stand all by itself. So it's starting to look a lot more like the finished llama. Next piece that we're gonna be adding is the head. You're now gonna grab the two head side pieces and also the head wrap piece. And so as you can see on the head wrap piece, there are a lot of dotted lines. And so you're gonna use your ruler to fold these. So I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to line up the straight edge with each of the dotted lines and then you're basically just going to pull it back. That way when you do it, you get a nice crease on where the dotted line is and you're just going to continue doing that until you've done that to every single one. Now that you're done folding all of the dotted lines, you're gonna take the two head side pieces and you're gonna end up just wrapping it around, around his head. So it's just gonna wrap all the way around. And make sure when you're wrapping this, you're gonna start right where, right there, which is like kind of like his nose almost. And so you're gonna start the cardboard right there and you're just gonna start wrapping it and make sure to do both of these at the same time. So don't try to wrap this entire piece and then wrap this piece. 
wrap both of them at the same time. And so you're just gonna continue and make sure to do it in segments. So do like this part and then glue it and then maybe this section and glue it. Don't try to glue the whole thing at once. And so you're just gonna glue that on right now. Now that you guys are done building the main part of the head, you're gonna grab both of the eye pieces. And as you can see on the llama, his eyes go about right there. So where this like the top of the highest point on his head, it's a little bit in front of that. So this is the highest point on his head. The eye is gonna go a little bit in front of that. So like maybe like right there and you're just gonna glue it. It doesn't have to be perfect, just approximate what looks best. And yeah, you're just gonna glue that on to both sides. Now that you're done attaching both of the eyes, the head should start coming together more. Okay, so now we're gonna start building the ears or the antlers. So as you can see, the antlers or the ears are more pointed forward. So we're gonna grab the ear pieces and as you can see, there is a straight side. This side is a straight side. And then there's one side that is slightly curved. The straight side is the side that we're gonna be attaching to the head. And so you're just gonna kind of attach it sort of like this. And you're just gonna glue it on like that. And you should only glue about maybe like a fourth of it onto his head and it should go about right there. And you're going to do it with both of the ear pieces. Now that you're done attaching the ears on, the head is now completed and we can now put some glue on the neck piece and just attach it on like that. Now that you guys have added the head on, the llama is almost complete. For those of you who aren't gonna do the fur, you guys are almost done. You just have a couple more pieces left, which is the saddle and also the tail. And so the next piece that we're gonna be working on is the saddle. You're now gonna grab all of the saddle pieces. So the first thing that we're gonna be working on is just the main part of the saddle, which is this part right here. We're not gonna do the design yet. We're just gonna be working on this main part right here. So you're gonna grab all of the saddle side pieces. And if you see closely, they're actually double stacked. So there's two of them together. So you're just gonna grab two saddle side pieces, glue them together, and then grab the other two saddle side pieces and glue them together. You're now gonna grab the saddle top piece. And so for those of you who are not doing any of the fur pieces, you're gonna be gluing this saddle top piece on top like that, right on top of the, to the saddle attachment that we just added. And so if you actually look, this is the saddle from the llama with fur and this is the saddle from the llama without fur. If you guys can tell this one's actually a bit longer and that's because of the way we glued it. This one we're gluing on top, this one we're gluing on the side of it. So those of you who are doing the saddle without fur, you, you're gonna glue it on top. And those of you who are doing the saddle, uh, the llama with fur, you're gonna be gluing it on the side, just like that. And so I'm gonna be doing it with fur, so I'm gonna be gluing it on the side, but uh, for those of you who are gonna do it with no fur, you guys can glue it right on top. And you guys are gonna just put it in the center as possible. Once you guys have glued that, you're gonna grab both of the saddle attachment pieces and you're gonna end up gluing each of these pieces right in the center of the saddle side pieces. So I'm gonna be gluing it in the center and you're gonna do it to both sides. Now that you guys have added the saddle attachments, it's time to add the arrows. And this is just like a little decoration 
to the saddle piece. And so you're just gonna be gluing this about in the center of the saddle attachment. Now that you guys are done with the saddle, you almost have a complete llama for those of you who are doing no fur. And if you guys want, you guys can permanently attach the saddle onto him. But I kind of like it uh, having it so that I can like take the saddle off and on because it's kind of like a little attachment I can add, which is kind of cool. But it's up to you guys. You guys can glue it on if you want. And so for those of you who are not doing the fur, the last piece for you guys is the tail. So you guys are almost done. So just the next piece that we're going to be doing is the tail. And so you're going to grab all of the tail pieces, which is the this thin piece like this. And so the first thing that you're going to want to do is, as you can see, the tail is like just kind of everywhere. And so you're just going to be just like kind of like this, just with your fingers, you're just going to be bending it and twisting it in just random directions. And so you're just going to do that to all of them. Once you guys are done just bending it into random directions, you guys are going to end up stacking them on top of each other, but just the very end of it. So I'm going to put like a little dot of glue on the very edge and I'm just going to put it on top of it and make sure that when you guys are stacking them up, all of these li little uh, cardboard pieces are in different directions. So one of them might be pointing down, one of them might be sticking out, one of them might be to the right, to the left. So just make sure they're all in different directions. Once you guys have glued all of those on, if you guys aren't gonna be doing fur, you guys can just attach it to the back. It'll just go like about like maybe like right there and you guys are finished, but I'm not gonna be attaching it because I am gonna be doing it with fur. But if you guys aren't doing what fur, I really encourage you guys, if you guys want to maybe come back later, you guys should really try out the fur because it looks a lot cooler with fur than without. But of course it's up to you guys. So if you guys are doing it without fur, congratulations, you finished building your very own Fortnite llama. The next thing that we're gonna be doing is the fur. And if you guys are still with me and have decided to do the fur, just thank you because, you know, and it's also just like so cool. Cause like when you look at it, it's like almost like another like 3D effect and it really makes like the llama almost like come to life. And so it's really cool. And so I think you guys are gonna be glad that you guys chose building the fur. And so for the saddle and the tail, you guys can just leave this off to the side because we're gonna add these on last. And so we're gonna be adding the body side fur. You're now gonna grab all of the body side fur pieces and there's five of them. When you guys have lined it all up, you guys can take, make sure to line them up in number order though. So one, two, three, four, five, one being on the top, five being on the bottom. And then you can take all these template pieces off. Once you're done with that, if you actually line these up together, it actually makes the shape of the body side, which is what we're gonna be adding it on. So you're gonna take the bottom one first, number five, and you're just gonna put all these little cuts into it like that. And they don't have to be even because fur isn't like perfect. And if you make all of the cuts even length, it'll actually look kind of weird because it'll look too perfect. So just cut it any way possible. So as you can see, mine aren't perfect, but in the end, it actually comes out really well. And once you're done cutting each of the pieces, you're gonna place it back right where you took it from so right there and make sure you always keep them in number order and then you're just gonna do the same thing with the rest of the pieces now that you guys have made all those little cut marks in between as you can see we're going to start with the bottom one and then we're just going to keep stacking them on top of each other kind of like that so you're going to start by just gluing this bottom piece right there and then you're just gonna overlap this one just by a little bit and then same thing all the way up until the top and if you actually do something kind of like this where you almost cut it off it's okay you guys can just kind of glue it back together like that and so you're just going to continue this until you've c covered this entire body side piece now that you're done with that should start coming together and you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Look at the llama. He's already starting to look really good and we've only added the body side fur. The next 
uh, fur that we're gonna add is on the front and the back of the body. So now you're gonna grab the body front and back fur. I'm just gonna be grabbing five just to show you guys how to do one side and then you guys can go ahead and do the other side. So just like the body side fur, you're just gonna be making a bunch of cut marks in between. But you guys need to remember that the body front and back fur one, that is always gonna be on the top. So this is gonna be the very top one on him. And so just like before, you're just gonna make a bunch of cut marks in between. Now that you've cut all those, you're just gonna glue it the same way we did, starting with the bottom one. And four of the fur pieces are all the exact same size, so it doesn't really matter what order. You just have to remember that the smallest one is gonna be on the top. Now that you're done with that, you guys are just gonna do the same thing, but to the front of him. The body fur is now completely finished. The only fur that we have to add left is for the neck. You're gonna grab all of the neck front and back fur pieces, and there should be 10 of them. So just like before, you're gonna line them all up into number order, starting from one at the top and five at the bottom. And once you've done that, you can take the template pieces off. So you guys have cut that, you're just going to do the same thing, which is you're just going to stack them all up. Now that you're done with that, you're going to do the same thing, but onto the back of the neck. Only two more pieces of fur to add, guys. It's just the two sides of the neck, and that's it. You're going to grab all of the neck side fur pieces and there should be 10 of them again. And when you line it up, it lines up pretty well. And you guys have to look at the llama to make sure it's correct. So as you can see, that isn't correct because this gradual side is actually flipped. It's on this side, so that means I'm gonna need to flip these pieces. That way now, when I line it up, yep, the gradual side is on this side and the gradual side is on this side. So make sure, it's very important to make sure that it's the right way because if you don't, it's gonna get messed up. Once you do that, you can just put a bunch of hash marks inside of it. Now you can just glue them all up the same way you've done for the rest of them. Now that you added that, you're gonna do the same thing with the other side of the neck. Now that you guys have added all of the fur, it's so close, it's almost complete. Complete. The only thing that we need to add is the tail and the saddle. And so, of course, it's up to you guys. You guys can attach the saddle permanently, but I kind of like it having it as an accessory. So I'm just gonna kind of keep it like that. And then for the tail piece, you're just gonna glue it. There's no really specific point to glue it on. You're just gonna glue it anywhere onto the saddle. Just make sure it's kind of on uh, the upper half of the saddle, so maybe like about right there, you should glue it. Great job, guys! You finished creating your very own Fortnite llama. Uh, I really got. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this entire ten week tutorials. Uh, they're they're actually going to be up longer. So if you guys haven't done some of the earlier models, uh, you guys can do those because they're going to be up all summer long. And so just like I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be holding a photo challenge. So we really hope that you guys participate in this. You guys can just snap a picture of any of the 10 models in some sort of like photo scenery. And then you guys can upload it to Instagram, tag Cardboard Superheroes and Comic Con Museum. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of how to build your very own Fortnite llama.